Using Pythagoras' theorem, let's find the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. As a quick reminder, Pythagoras' theorem is the side A squared plus the side B squared all equals the side C squared. So this question is asking us to find the length of the hypotenuse X. So this is the hypotenuse, which we know because it's facing the right angle. And the first thing we want to do is write down Pythagoras' theorem. So we've got a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Secondly, let's label the triangle. So we've got a, b, and c. If you really want to, you can call this a, call this b, but this always has to be c. Substituting the values, so we've got a squared or 3 squared plus b squared, which is 4 squared, equals c squared, which is x squared. Let's calculate that. So we've got 9 plus 16, and that will equals x squared. 9 plus 16 then equals 25. So 25 equals x squared. But we're not after x squared, we're just after x. And in order to do that, we need to do the inverse of squaring, which is square root in both sides. And that will leave us with the square root of 25 equals x. Well, the square root of 25 is quite a nice number, as it's 5. So 5 equals x. So our final answer will be x equals 5 metres. The first question was quite nice. This one's not as nice because we want to find the hypotenuse x, which is here, to two decimal places. So our first step, we want to write down Pythagoras' theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Label the triangle. Well, this is side C every single time. And I'm going to label the top A and the side B. Again, you can label A and B whichever way around you want, as long as once you've labeled it, you use it consistently throughout that question. So our second step, we'll substitute in the values. So we've got A, which is 12. So we've got 12 squared plus B, which is seven. So seven squared equals C squared. I'm actually gonna substitute this X in, so X squared. So then we've got 12 squared, which is 144 plus 7 squared, which is 49, equals x squared. Notice I'm just working out the left-hand side and keeping it all there, and the right-hand side, I'm keeping everything there. 144 plus 49 is 193. So 193 equals x squared. We want to find x on its own, so we need to do the inverse function of squaring, which is square root in both sides. So the square root of 193 equals x. And you're going to want to pop that into your calculator, so you'll end up with 13.89 equals x. So our final answer is x equals 13.89 centimeters to two decimal places. Here's your chance to try three questions. Find the hypotenuse of each triangle to one decimal place. Pause the video and resume when you're ready for the answers. For the pink question, let's write down Pythagoras' theorem first. So we've got a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Label the sides. So we've got a, b, and c. Some of you may have written a here and b here. That's absolutely fine. Substituting the values. So we've got 2 squared plus 5 squared equals x squared. 4 plus 25 equals x squared. 29 equals x squared. The square root of 29 equals x. Square root of 29 in the calculator will end up with 5.38516 etc. So our final answer is x equals 5.4 centimeters to one decimal place. This question, well, we've got a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I'm going to label a, b and c. So we have 4.8 squared plus 3.7 squared equals x squared. We'll then have 23.04 plus 13.69 equals x squared. 36.73 equals x squared. Square root both sides, we'll have the square root of 36.73 equals x. 6.0605, we'll get in our calculator, equals x. So our final answer will be x equals 6.1 meters to one decimal place. The final question, the green one, 
we've got a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I'm going to label the triangle a, b, and c. c being the same every single time, a and b doesn't matter. Substituting the values, so we've got 32 squared plus 34 squared equals x squared. 32 squared is 1024. 34 squared is 1156. And that all equals x squared, 2180. So that equals x squared. Square root both sides, so we've got the square root of 2180 equals x. Enter that into your calculator. We'll end up with 46.69047 which equals x. So our final answer will be x equals 46.7 centimetres to one decimal place. And that's all for this video. Tune in to the next video, which is finding the side A or the side length B. Stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.